We need you to do an accent. You mean like an Indian accent? You know, Ben Kingsley did an accent in Gandhi and he won the Oscar for it, so. But he didn't win the Oscar just for doing the accent. I mean, it wasn't an Oscar for best Indian accent. Debuting on November 6th on Netflix, Aziz Ansari's Master of None is a contemporary comedy tour de force that you should be prepping the snacks for in a binge anticipation. An exploration of romance, race, family, digital life, and trying to make it in New York as an actor, some of which the Parks and Recreation alum touched on in his Modern Romance and Investigation book that came out this summer, the 10-episode Master of None is a real display of well, what I would call another kind of Netflix and chill. Which is to say, like Sense8, which is also on the streaming service, you have to get in there several episodes to really watch the series come into its own. But the effort is well worth it, if not for a certain Blade remark alone. So if you go back far enough, we're all 116 something. I'm probably 116 to black. You think they're gonna let me play Blade? Created by Ansari, who plays the 30-year-old actor Deb, and Parks and Rec producer Alan Yang, Masters of None, which Parks and Rec co-producer Harris Whittles, who died earlier this year, was supposed to be a part of too, is the second project the actor has done with the streaming service this year. But while his Live at Madison Square Garden special mines similar themes for laughs in a pretty standard format, the semi-autobiographical Master of None goes for the heart and drama, as well as the laughs, and often flips it all around unexpectedly. Anyone who saw Ansari in Parks and Rec over the years, as well as movies like Get Him to the Greek, knew he had a great range just waiting to reveal itself on the landscape. But part of the wonder of Master of None is just how far he can go when put in the driver's seat. And once the motor is running, he goes for it. Not just starring in the witty show, but writing and directing too. Black lady, Chinese man. Hey, 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 don't, don't yell out people's ethnicities. This is certainly not Ansari's one shot, as Eminem would say, but he urgently treats Master of None as such and leaves few creative opportunities to waste. With a great arc in The Sickening, the film within the show that Deb calls the Black Virus movie, plus an incredibly strong supporting cast and Ansari's own parents playing Deb's parents, Masters of None is full of surprises. Not to go too far into the long grass, but don't miss a very well-played unspoken spy versus spy element, with Homeland's Claire Danes and the Americans' Noah Emmerich playing a troubled couple who, well, to put it lightly, draw Deb into their dysfunctional web. But you know, long review short, the real deal is you want to get caught up in Master of None. So watch it. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.